Hi everyone, this will be a quick video to uh, possibly demonstrate the uh, delayed lens effect on a uh, transformer. So uh, this is a microwave oven transformer that I have here. So we have our primary here which has you know a low amount of turns and our secondary winding here with a high uh, quantity of uh, turns there as you can see compared to the uh, primary and the inductance here on the primary is uh, what do we have 69 millihenries also I'm sorry about the background noise or maybe the light conditions I'm doing this inside my uh, sailboat here which is uh, my uh, <laughs> studio or home at this time uh, anyway so what I'm doing here is I'm hooking up the my signal generator uh, output to the primary here of that uh, transformer and then the secondary I have a load and I've got a uh, neon uh, bulb on that as a load on the secondary because it's pretty high voltage and all that so uh, we're looking for a uh, certain frequency that uh, once a load is connected or even the terminals are shorted on the secondary that we actually have no load coming back onto the primary so it meaning that it doesn't affect uh, the current draw uh, to the primary when this is on maximum load on the secondary which is not normally what a transformer works at uh, usually when you short it it'll put uh, more load on the primary so I did find a frequency uh, let me go over the setup here I've got uh, uh, my oscilloscope hooked up, two of my probes, uh, one probe here is measuring the voltage uh, going uh, to the input here to the primary and the other probe is me measuring the voltage across a 1 ohm 5% uh, resistor there and um, this probe is on times one because it's pretty sensitive uh, voltage uh, reading over that one ohm resistor and the other probe is set to times uh, 10 and like I said that's measuring the uh, so this is the hot side here of my signal generator the ground is right here and obviously the ground all grounds are referring back to the same location same side here <coughs> and uh, that's my other toroid there that I talked about that has a uh, 7.5 millihenry uh, uh, inductance maybe I'll do tests uh, uh, 7.5 henry inductance and actually I had at that time also wound a primary on that which is the thicker wires here you see coming out the two thinner wires there that's the uh, the, uh, the, 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 the wire that has the most amount of turns uh, this uh, primary that I put on there was just for like measuring with a scope to see what's going on and when I'm doing different tests uh, but maybe I can uh, put a signal through that as a primary and use that as a secondary anyways uh, that's going to be maybe other tests later on so I am getting some interesting results here with the uh, the um, this uh, arrangement and uh, if we look at the, I'll bring up the scope here, if we look at the scope and we look at the data, this here uh, in green here is, sorry about the light conditions, I will post these uh, uh, shots uh, on the uh, public forum for you to look at uh, cleanly. Anyway, so this is what's going across our 1 ohm resistor here. And if we look at the data there, we've got... Um, volts RMS which is probably the most important one there we've got 28 uh, millivolts RMS uh, across that resistor uh, around 100 millivolts peak to peak and our frequency isn't stable because there's a lot of you know bad data there so it's best to take our frequency right here which is the uh, the uh, voltage measured uh, on the input it's a lot cleaner because it's the the uh, probes on times 10 and if we look at the frequency there that's the free that's the operating frequency so we're at 5.9 kilohertz and um, this is our load well this is the voltage like I said going into the uh, the input here of the uh, transformer 
So right now I have the load connected as you see and that bulb is shining very brightly and my intensity of my output is even is about uh, three quarters way or no just past the halfway mark it's right there right now I can increase it but I don't want to burn out this thing um, so right now it is connected so now if I disconnect it and we look at it, the uh, data once more uh, hardly anything has changed there as you see we've got now 29 uh, millivolts uh, with the uh, no load connected and uh, so nothing has really changed there there's the data on the uh, voltage there as well so basically I am connecting a load and it's not reflecting uh, really any change so right now what I'll do is I'll connect it okay it's connected now disconnected connected disconnected there's hardly any change now let's short it shorted unshorted shorted so as you see even on the short the data here is actually probably even less let's see here uh, it's shorted now and it's unshorted there so you see it going up actually uh, 32 millivolts RMS shorted so down to 30 so that's uh, that's kind of uh, interesting there as well so you know this was just an experiment to uh, see if we can create a delayed lens effect in the uh, transformer and uh, I don't know it looks like uh, you can so anyways I'm going to uh, post this and uh, as well obviously my uh, signal generator is on a uh, sine wave as output I can uh, put it onto square wave or triangle but there was no real advantage there that's my oscilloscope right there and that's about it that's uh, all I can uh, share for you uh, share with you uh, right now and like I said look at the public forum to see these uh, shots and there's always a link to my video to uh, see these uh, shots here uh, very clearly so I'll do a loaded and an unloaded uh, test and I'll also even show also three shots no loads uh, with that uh, a neon bulb and then with just a short and then you can have a look and see if you can see a difference so basically I tuned the frequency to like I said here uh, the 4.9 kilohertz and that's the frequency that I found that uh, gives you you know a good result as far as you know if you want to even short the uh, the uh, transformer uh, there are other lower frequencies that the effect comes on but when you short it, it actually boosts up the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, primary current. So this is the one. This is the frequency that it didn't do any effects like that. So that's about it. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.